have a new Music Friday and welcome to the Hack Music Theory Show! So today Marshmallow dropped his new single, Happier, featuring Bastille, and there's a theory hack in the song that pretty much guarantees it's gonna appeal to a huge audience. What's the hack and how can you use it in your own music? The answer's coming up. But first, Tay. Revolutionaries, I'm Kate Harmony, this is Ray Harmony, and together we are Revolution Harmony. Alright, it's time to open your door to hack music theory. The theory. When isolated, the lead synth melody in the happier chorus definitely sounds like it's in F major. However, when you add the bass line under the first bar of this melody, something strange happens. It now sounds like it's in D minor. Why and how? Well, F major and D minor have the exact same notes. They're what we call relative keys. So, what determines whether this melody is in F major or D minor? The bass! <laughs> yep, the bass line is the musical foundation upon which everything else is built. Yeah, so if the bass emphasizes D, like Marshmallow does in the first bar of the drop, then the lead melody above that is going to sound like it's in D minor. On the other hand, if the bass emphasizes F, like Marshmallow does in the second bar of the drop, then the lead melody above that is going to sound like it's an F major. Emphasizing both root chords in relative major and minor keys, like D minor and F major in Happier, is super popular with EDM pop crossover producers like the Chainsmokers and David Guetta. Using this relative major minor crossover hack allows your song to appeal to people with a preference for music in major keys and people with a preference for music in minor keys, which covers pretty much everyone. <laughs> Other than the Mavericks, of course. And by the way, if you need help understanding scales and relative keys and all that good stuff, no problem, we got you covered. Just read our free book, 12 Music Theory Hacks on Scales and Chords, which you can download at hackmusictheory.com. The Hack Okay, so you can write this kind of drop in two simple steps. Step one, write a lead melody using a major scale, and step two, write a bass line that emphasizes the root note of that major scale and the root note of its relative minor scale. So for this example, we're gonna be using D minor and F major, like Marshmallow. All right, now let's work through those two steps in more detail. So start by setting your grid to 16th notes, then to get that happier rhythm, play every third 16th note in each bar like this. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and so on. And by the way, if you need help writing melodies, just use the melody checklist in our songwriting and producing PDF. The link is below. All right, now it's time to get stuck into the low end. So for step two, the bass line, start by playing the root note of the relative minor key. So in this example, that is D. And what that's going to do is make your first bar sound like it's in the key of D minor. Then what you want to do is work your way up to the root note of the relative major key for your second bar. And in this example, that's F. And what that's going to do is make your second bar sound like it's in the key of F major. Also, remember to use plenty of rests in your bass line if you're going for that EDM drop vibe. And lastly, we used counterpoint to write this lead melody and bass line, which creates this awesome musical depth from the two totally independent layers. And if you're interested in learning how to use counterpoint in your own music, that's also in the songwriting and producing PDF. And just before the final playthrough, please note, we intentionally wrote our example to be very similar to the original song, but we did that for the sake of this lesson. So instead of copying Marshmallow, please explore how you can use this hack creatively with your own musical personality so it sounds like you. Also, quick question for you, do you struggle to finish your music? If you answered yes, then we can help you. <laughs> yes, indeed we can. Just check out our cutting edge online apprenticeship course, where you'll learn how to make new sections for existing sections, how to transition between sections, even when they're in different keys, and most importantly, how to finish your songs. If that sounds useful to you, then just head on over to hackmusictheory.com. All right, that's it. We really hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications. 
Also, we believe in sharing our knowledge for free, mm -hmm. so please pay it forward by teaching this hack to a friend so they can benefit from this lesson as well. And you know what? I've been teaching music theory for 24 years, so I can safely say that the best way to learn something is to teach it to someone else. So go forth and teach. <laughs> and on that note, thank you for joining the Hack Music Theory Revolution, and we'll see you next New Music Friday.